guess I'm just taking a break. We had this really cool adventure saving Earth, and, and I was pretty happy. Anyway, so I needed some me time, and I came to Australia, and that's when I moved in with Daryl. Hello. And uh, here we are. You know, it's, it's, it's a nice flat, as you can see, and uh, we, we get along well. Yeah, I guess I just wanted to be around uh, average, everyday people. And Daryl is a, an average sort of everyday guy, so it works out well. While I'm here, I'm trying to get involved with the locals. And who's this purple weirdo? Vision! Surprised you actually knew who that was. You know, to give back to the community. Daryl here is helping me craft an electronic letter. I'm writing to Captain America and Iron Man. There seems to be something very intense going on between them, and I want to offer my help, my services. Dear Tony Stark, how's it going? I heard you and Captain America were having some relationship problems. Dear Steve Rogers, do you remember when I goaded you into killing those prisoners and you made me swear to never tell the other Avengers? If there's any other secrets you need kept, just let me know. I'm not up to much at the moment. What are you doing later? I'm just working. What's he doing? He's working. Keep out Daryl. <laughs> Costume for battles. Little Mjolnir over here taking a nap. <laughs> a little bit of something I've been roasting in the sun for a number of weeks now. And it's almost ready. Delicious. Question. What are Infinity Stones? A whole lot of information and ideas and what I like to call little clues speckled around the place. And who is the man in the purple chair? He's purple. His magic glove doesn't like standing up. Fury, what does he really know? And is Fury his real name or is it actually pronounced furry? Little Mjolnir here, <laughs> pair of sunglasses in case it gets bright on the rainbow bridge, which often it does. Oh, if you lift up this little thing, <laughs> what's he holding? Me. I never wear cutoffs. How do I keep waking up in cutoffs? Normal pants going in, cutoffs coming out. You? Hmm. <laughs> oh, by, by the way, have you heard from uh, Tony Stark and Captain America? They didn't contact you? Uh, I haven't received a single phone call. Uh, one second. Oh, uh... Hey, T Bone. How many times do we have to go over this? No amount of money is gonna get me to join your little pissing contest. But here, talk to Thor. Yeah. He's sort of been waiting to hear from you. I have him right here. Oh, you can't right now? Okay. Am I disappointed that they, that they didn't okay. invite me to fight with him? Um. <laughs> no. He doesn't know how to get in touch with you. I don't. I don't have a phone. He doesn't have a phone. Send a raven. I just start my own team, Team Thor. Course. And it would be me and Daryl. Just us, right, D? Yep. The hallways were dripping with blood and gore. And then I removed the villain's head from his body. His guts flew everywhere. <laughs> and of course, I ate his eyeballs so we could never find his way back to the halls of Valhalla. <laughs> I guess I'm just taking a break. You know, this is very different, but you know, life is about new experiences, and this, uh, this certainly is one of them. Anyway, I ended up here uh, in Australia and moved in with Daryl. Hello. We split the rent, of course, divide the duties, clean. Daryl cleans the toilet mainly, because you do most of the damage in there. <laughs> I'm a prince from another world, and I'm used to giant, shiny, golden castles, so this is kind of ridiculous in a lot of ways, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm managing. Thor's great. He's kind, he's very strong. He has a particular point of view, but there's another side, which I understand it can be frustrating. Connect four. He's massively out of touch. It's just things like this. He destroyed Connect Four and this has been in the family for quite a while and I can't tell him that sort of stuff. I was here cleaning it up. He just doesn't seem to have a concept of time. I say bills are due fortnightly and he really deals with things in centuries, I guess. 
he's often said, I'll get to it next century. I can't uh, pay rent with these things. One's a pumpkin, and these Asgardian coins, they're not worth anything. In Asgard, those coins, these coins are worth a gazillion human dollars, okay? There's a gazillion, you're rich. There's a gazillion. Gazillion, gazillion, gazillion. No one will exchange these. Go to the market, set up a store, yeah. and write, yeah. Asgardian ware. Previously owned by Thor. I'm a celebrity that will sell like hotcakes. You might need to think about getting a, getting a job. <laughs> Get a job? Are you serious? Yeah. I have a job. Do you know what my job is? I save the planet. Yeah. Maybe you should get a job. Hmm. I have a job. Really? You know what my job is. Hitting the machine with the words that come out of it. Oh, this is knowledge. Knowledge is power. No, it's not. Knowledge is not power. That's power. The brain is a muscle, and that's a muscle, and that's a muscle. They are all muscles. This is all muscle. So I am covered in brains, and I have more brains than you. So do you think maybe we could just think I about. I think we need a servant. I don't think we can get a servant. We should get a servant. We, I don't Yay, think we it's can settled. Get a We're getting a servant. That came out of a conversation about me saying, could you pay some rent? And then his next thought is, I'll get a servant. I don't see how those two things are connected. So, Shane, there's nothing too hard, really. The usual stuff, polishing this guy here, cleaning my armor after adventures and battles. There'll be blood and sweat and, and grime on them, sharpening my swords, writing of my legendary tales. But really, Shane, the main thing you'll be doing as my servant is to get a job and to pay my rent and you'll be paid in Asgardian gold. How does that sound? Excellent. Oh, you're hired. Now, bring me some more mead. He's essentially an illegal alien. I'm dreading the knock on the door and his reaction to where's your passport. We were all the best of friends, and um, then they had a disagreement, stopped talking, and there was a fight. But not one of them bothered to call me. And that's just one thing that you'll have to learn about life that friendship is not forever. And that nothing lasts. Nothing. Earth is a place that I've, uh, I've come to love. And I feel it's a, a second home, and I'm very protective of the humans because they're so helpless and ridiculous. Let's go to bed. It's just me and Daryl now. Yeah. We don't need anybody else. Just, just best friends forever. Love to get you an outfit. Yeah. Maybe a cape or something. Yeah, well, yeah. What about this? Do you want to try hold that? <laughs> <laughs> As if. <laughs>
That's also, Daryl, as a crying cyclops. Oh, my golly. Well, <laughs> look at this. Here is Daryl <clears throat> asleep right there. And of course, he's dreaming about me. My eye fell upon him, and then I kind of knew it right away. He's kind of like my muse. He, he, just, he just interests me strangely. What am I working on at the moment? Well, um, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm fixing to, to uh, move in on this new planet. Now, I've, I've kind of taken a liking to it. So I'm going to rule uh, Earth. Uh, lately, he started talking about taking over Earth. I'm not sure how he would go about starting to take over Earth, but we made a video. Peoples of planet Earth. My name is Grandmaster, and I'm uh, about to become your ruler. Those who resist me, let me say, uh, will become uh, melted. This is my melting stick. Yeah, if people displease me, I can melt them. How many, how many uh, views have we got now? One. One? That's not bad. But that's just us, because we're uh, watching it. Maybe you need to refresh the uh, refresh the window. Okay. Okay. And how many views do we have now? Now we've got two. Ah, good, good, two. So we're we're uh, now nah, we're in business. Uh, that second one is us two. We've seen it twice. We might need to make a, another video advertising the original video. You know anybody who could play uh, music? Some of your some of your work friends from the top. Ready? Three, four. <laughs> Nope, nope, nope. Wow, David, <laughs> why are you playing a, a, a Zimbledorp when I'm, we're obviously doing a Zets? Why, why are you doing that? I don't know what that is. <sighs> All right, from, from the top, one, two, one, two, three. I don't want to go to sleep without clearing up a few things, OK? I want to apologize for melting David. We might want to call his parents and yes. just let them know. Uh, I guess I should be the one to call. But can we practice what practice we're going to say? Richardson? Yeah, yeah. OK, ring, 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 ring. Hello. Hello, who's this? Uh, this is uh, Mrs. Richardson. Oh, Mrs. Richardson. I'm not sure if that's the best way to start. Well, let's see what happens. You try to channel her, uh, Mrs. Richardson. Oh, uh, uh, how are you, Mrs. Richardson? You can call me Grandmaster. Mrs. Richardson, what are you wearing? I'm just wearing a nightgown. Oh, you've got to be kidding. What color? Uh, blue. Oh, that's my favorite color. Mrs. Richardson, David's melted. So you may be wondering what uh, will become of Daryl when I take over this planet. Well, he's going to... Um, uh, rule beside me. Well, he's going to stand beside me. I'm not going to rule. I'm going to be ruling, but he's going to he's going to be standing beside me. And I don't like saying this, but you look at him and he stares right back at you, and I can't tell if he wants to just hang out or melt me. I love you, Daryl. Uh, do you have anything to say to that? I love you, too. I didn't force him to say that. Um, that warms me terrifically. Thank you. I think I never thought I'd say this, but I'm really beginning to miss my old housemate. 